guys, how you doing? Um, we're back here today. Let me get my light. I know this isn't when he gets more light back here. I'll come back and introduce this washer and start the video. Uh, just got through talking to Jerome Davis for about 20 30 minutes, and uh, we just talked about uh, LG dryers and uh, all that cool stuff. Uh, so, we're going to get started with this washer in just one moment. Be right back. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the light on here. I'm gonna get started. Just about to get ready. Hopefully, everything's going to be working okay. Make sure water's on. Everything's connected. Looks good. Power. Let me unplug it. Plug it back in. Okay. We got this guy right here. Alright, so let me uh, get the chat screen up. It's almost ready, guys. Turn this down. GG, what's up? Thanks for stopping by. Ronald Lucas Jr., what's going on, man? Downs Life and Safety, what's up? Gatsby, what's going on? Valerian, what's going on? Okay, so today will just kind of be a quick video. Well, it's not too quick. It's going to be probably about an hour. But I'm not going to record this in high definition. I left all my SD cards at home. So it's just this, this will only be a uh, like a live stream only. And I do have to do some paperwork in the back, so I'll probably uh, just kind of talk to you guys through the chat screen. I uh, won't spend too much time back here. It's hot. What's going on, Daniel? Thanks for stopping by. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and get this thing running. Hit power. Okay, so today we're going to do the heavy duty cycle. This is the Speed Queen Top Load Washer, model number TR7003WN. Today we're going to do a heavy duty cycle. We're going to wash the five pair of jeans. We're not going to use uh, soap or anything like that because we, we want to see the wash action. Um, and we're going to also select the load size, it's going to be autofill. Uh, Speed Queen has one of the best uh, load size detection systems. I guess it, it, it's going to fill up to the right level every time. Uh, soil love we're going to max it out uh, if we did extra rinse right now we're showing 66 minutes if we did extra rinse you're going to be looking at 79 turn it off 66 so I think we're just going to leave it at 66 I got to get out of here soon anyway um, jeans are already loaded got the five pair yeah so five pair of jeans are inside uh, so what I'm going to do now we're going to hit start Connection speed, I don't know. 
uh, con correction, speed queen, I'm sorry. Uh, Cami cams was going on. The pink diamonds was going on. Thanks for stopping by. All right, so let's go ahead and hit start. We got water. And let's go ahead and look here. And the crab is, where's the crab at? He's over here somewhere, okay. Put this guy right here. You won't fall in. More light. That's pretty good. Joseph, what's up? Thanks for stopping by. So this washer is the Speed Queen Top Load Washer, uh, model number TR7003WN. Um, Slightly different from, I guess there was a 7000, so this is a 7003. I'm not sure what the difference is. I need to talk to Speed Queen and find out. Uh, I haven't really cross checked the uh, features and details uh, to, you know, to, turn, to determine which one's different, you know, what, how, what the difference is or what, what, what kind of differences there are. Um, but um, somebody who can really. Uh, remember uh, the cycle settings and remember what the old one did. You, can, you might be able to compare it to this video here and, and you can probably spot it. Um, we, there's an obvious difference uh, between the TR5, uh, the 5000 and the 5003, and also the, there's a, a difference in the TR series as well, the TR3. So, but the TR7, I'm not sure what the difference is. Um, hopefully it's a little bit of uh, programming and maybe they increase um, the uh, wash style, you know, some kind of a wash program to where it, you know, performs better. I mean, it, it, to me it performs fine. I like, I like this washer a lot, so. Um, So right now we're, sh we're showing 63 minutes because we are on the uh, max soil level on heavy duty. Now I want to say that could be a difference. I don't remember this washer going over an hour uh, on, the old, on the old machine unless you hit extra rinse. So uh, I think people are already kind of programmed that a wash will take at least an hour on, on, on these HE style washers and the HE style front loaders. Uh, so if you're already used to that, why, why not take advantage of that? So uh, Speed Queen possibly might have, to increase the, the uh, wash performance, uh, they added more time to the agitation portion of the uh, cycle. So, uh, you know, so we, we should get cleaner clothes, which is great. Um, the days of washing in 25, 30 minutes, those days are pretty much over, um, unless you find an old machine. The, the TC, I think, the TC model will probably do that, but that's not a washer that's not going to be in their future. Uh, we know the days are numbered on the TC model. Mm. 
in in increase the, uh, the contrast a little bit. So the whites are very white right now. Yeah, I want to see the blue jeans. So uh, the 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 wash is going to look a little bit washed out because of the the, the brightness of the white, but I think that's okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Fisher and Pikel. So, um, you know, it, it'd be neat, but they, they have never approached us to sell their product. Uh, I don't know if I can take them on right now. I already have my hands full with what I got. Um, I haven't had demand for Fisher and Pikel, and I don't have time to try to sell it to somebody that, you know, and it's, we have a hard enough time selling the product that we have already. So to try to, to throw have a sales pitch for Fisher and Pikel to sell it, I don't have time for that. Um, but the Speed Queen, you know, it, it's it's um, it's an easy sell because most people know about it, um, and you don't have to spend a whole lot of time trying to convince somebody to buy one. That's one of the things I hate to do as a salesperson is convince somebody. They, they need this washer because um, it, 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 it kind of gets kind of, uh, uh, you know, you want to build friendships with customers. You don't want to try to sell them anything you can. Maybe so. Maybe I would like Fisher and Pico. I don't know. Um, but see, that you know, you just can't have a product, order a product, and try to sell it um, without having demand for it okay so if we were getting customers calling me saying you know or I, I missed my old Fisher and Pikel washer I wish I can find another one or do you sell Fisher and Pikel and, and you know it, if we had those calls every single day then I'll say hey you know what I'd better start selling this stuff um, but you know I just don't have that I don't even know if you can get Fisher and Pike at a big box store. Hi Nico, what's going on? Yeah, so I guess what Yosef is saying is that I think those are online now. I think he's just talking about the uh, Fisher and Pico washing machine. I don't know. Um, Yeah, this washer here is, um, I mean, it's it's sturdy. Uh, it, it's not going to go out of balance. Um, you know, it's um, okay, it, it's just strong. It's a strong machine, so it's it's going to last a long time. A lot of people don't like it because it's the capacity is not big enough. But so what if if you have a washer that can hold? tons of laundry or, or big blankets and stuff like that and then when your washer's trying to wash it it doesn't wash or the machine throws an error code because it's too much weight and i've seen that happen with front loaders and some of the top loaders just give up 
because it can't handle it. And the reason why it gives up because most of the machine is on, on those other machines, not this machine, but the other ones are plastic. So when you have a plastic washer over the plastic tub um, and, and it starts swinging around, it's going to hit and crack, right? So they have sensors to protect it, um, and, and uh, which is good. You don't want a broken machine, but you also want a washer that can handle um, a heavy load, you know. So this one can handle just about anything. If you overload it, only thing that's going to happen to it is it's going to probably not wash right, but it won't break the machine. So somebody made a comment, a negative comment about this TMR. I don't appreciate that, man. So as soon as I get back to my desk, I have to remove, remove that comment. Um, you know, that's that's you know that's not cool. Yeah, so this the agitation is great, man. It's it's gonna get the job done, uh, especially when you compare it to these uh, wash plate designs. a lot of force in there right now. Little gangster one, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by. You're right about that. Somebody said that the agitation is good enough for this neighborhood. So, um, I don't know if he lives in Austin, but um, I would say that's true. Yeah, you want a washer that can get the smell out of workout clothes. So when you have this much water, you have a lot of dilution. Um, the soap is going to do its job, you know, and uh, the, all this water is going to help dilute the soil and help just rinse your clothes out. That's what you really want to. You want a lot of water to rinse, and then when it goes into the rinse portion of the cycle, it's going to fill up as, with the same amount of water. It's going to really get everything out of your clothes. I mean, there's people that have high efficiency top loaders and they put their smelly clothes in and they're really not dirty they just smell because they're workout clothes and then when they pull them out they still stink okay and there's a lot of reasons for that you know it, to me it's it's about water if you don't have enough water and if it doesn't rinse very well it's, it's not going to get that smell out and then you have um, plastic and plastic parts so plastic is a porous material and once you get like a you know, like a mildew or some kind of a once it gets infected with a smell or mildew, um, that's almost impossible to get out. You know, so the so Speed Queen has have a stainless steel tub, uh, which everybody has. Just about everybody has a stainless steel tub, but the tub that holds the water, what is that made out of? Is that plastic or is it metal? So. The Maytag, the Speed Queen has a metal tub that holds the water, the tub you don't see, and that's not going to hold, that's not going to absorb smell and mildew and stuff like that. It's going to rinse out. So the uh, AV, AFV Fan 2020 uh, wants me to, wants me, I guess ask me if, I, if he wants to, uh, if, if, I, if he can tell me what's going on with his washer shirt. I, I would say, yeah, go ahead.
Yeah, today um, there was a washing machine that was a hallway sitting out front, and um, we delivered it. I, I guess we, we delivered a new washer to the customer, and that was the hallway, and it turned out to be a, a an Amana NTW series, and it looked to be about maybe two years old, maybe two or three years old, and it was already bitten to dust. I mean, it was in bad shape. Um, so it is, it's, it's incredible how some of these machines, if you don't, like if anything you buy new, if you don't take care of it, it's going to fall apart. Uh, where Speed Queen, it's, it's, it's kind of built to run all day long. We sell these machines to um, like hair salons, animal clinics, and places like that, uh, hotels, and they run them all day long, every single day. Uh, and, and those machines I keep an eye on because... I want to know how you know how is this machine in, you know lasting or um, doing in, in, the, in the really extreme case of an environment like that. So um, you know that that much you know we've seen uh, some issues like with the door latch, the wire harness becoming uh, disconnected, and it's given the uh, customer a problem. We go take the front panel off, and reset it. If it happens again, we just order them a new harness and uh, door latch assembly so you know, we've seen that happen a couple times not a big deal we've also seen where uh, let's say you have a bunch of sheets in here and you get somebody pulling clothes out and it starts pulling against the, the uh, I guess the the top of the washer you know, like the plastic portion of it and it can snap off and we've seen that happen so we go and order a new one of those and put it back on but that's usually because of, uh, I, I would call that abuse. Hey Jerry, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by. Hey Peter, what's going on? Yeah, for sure. The dog bed didn't do very good at all. See Doctor Two, what's going on, man? So right now, the uh, display says 49 minutes. Let's take a look at that real quick. So we're at uh, 49 minutes. Yeah, so Jerry, you know, his comment is true. So they extended the cycles on these things, on this. So, um, and I think that's to their benefit, Jerry. Uh, you know, most people are programmed on, you know, especially on front on front load washing machines and high efficiency top loaders that most of the time it's going to take at least an hour to do a load. Um, but speed, it seemed like the four speed queen on the earlier iterations of this washer, they're still holding on to trying to keep that wash time down to to 40 minutes or so or less, or 40, maybe 45 minutes max, if you do extra rinse, like a, maybe one hour. But, um, you know, and, you know, so that's what, that's what they probably thought that people wanted. You know, they wanted a washer that can wash in 30 minutes. And that's kind of true, but every single day, these those washers are being, are being forgotten. And um, and then the new norm is one hour. So why not take advantage of that? So let's do, let's take the TR series 
increase the wash performance by adding more, more adding more time to the wash cycle. Uh, and then now they have a machine that's, you know, longevity is great and uh, now it performs better. So, um, and you know, I kind of like that theory because, you know, in, in our household, we're not staying on top of the washer waiting for the next load. We, we, we throw our clothes in and then when we remember, we go and, and put them in the dryer. Uh, and and that's, that's from years of washing with front loaders. Um, and I actually had customers bought the TC series and that washer washes in like 28 to 32 minutes and and I had a customer complain saying that's not long enough to do to, to wash clothes which I thought I, I had to put her on hold and started laughing because I never heard that one before but she was a younger uh, a younger person and I, what I mean by younger I'm talking like probably 35 and or younger yeah, they're, and they're just not used to that they're used to washers taking forever to wash and they couldn't grasp a wash that can be clean in 25 to 32 minutes even if it was you know seen as believing you know it did just it is they felt like that wasn't long enough and she almost opted to get at the TR series Actually, Peter, I heard that the that these washers use more water than the 2017 models. Yeah, yeah, I, I couldn't believe it either. It was it was funny. With a name like Sean eighty A eight oh six, man. See every every day, man. Those those old school washers. There's less and less of those things, and um, nobody nobody nobody's gonna remember them, you know. But yeah, I I hear you, man. All right, guys, I gotta jump to this phone call, so I'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> so wait, so wait a minute. So wait, hold on. She was pleasantly surprised and disgusted that the water came out black when she got rid of her HE machine. Wow. Yeah, so the uh, Yosef is making a point that you know Speed Queen is using uh, currents to help uh, remove dirt from laundry, and, and that's what the the original uh, sales rep for Speed Queen. That's what they told me. They, they're trying to get water to flow through the clothes uh, to remove dirt, uh, which is fine. You know, I still like to see agitation for sure. You have to have some type of scrubbing. Um, I don't think you can just, you know, unless you had like, maybe if you threw your clothes in the river or something, a rocky river, maybe it'll come out clean at the end, but, um, but yeah, you have to have, you know, I think a combination of those, because right now it, there is collision when it changes directions, and also there's a lot of water flowing through it, so I don't know. I think front loaders will always scrub better um, because of their design, but front loaders aren't for everybody, you know. Oh, 
I got it. I got it. So Jerry said that the reason why the water was black because it was taking out the clothes, or taking, it was t removing more dirt that the uh, her other machine couldn't handle. If I see that. Right, guys, I have to go answer this phone call. I'll be right back.
So hey, what's going on in this other Texas? Oh, I didn't know that, man. So he's saying that Fisher and Pico no longer sells uh, top loaders in the U.S. market. So okay, cool. Fisher and Pikel. I think it's pronounced Pikel. Or Pikel? I don't know. Can somebody spell it out? So right now, um, let's take a look at the control panel. Zip it up over here. Twenty-two minutes left on the clock. That's good. That's fine with me. Hey, what's going on, Carlitos? Thanks for stopping by. Believe me, guys, the shop is nothing to uh, to brag about. It's a very humble business. Um, you know, you know our, our business. Our, we don't even we don't even have a proper sign on our building. It's crazy, man. It, it's like it says Maytag, and I think there's a Frigidaire sign that's like half of it's broken off, and it doesn't even finish the word Frigidaire. It's kind of it's funny. So a lot of people have trouble finding us. Well, in the past, they had trouble finding us, but uh, now everything's on the phone, so they just drive right up to our store because of the directions that your phone will give you. But our building, is just a, it's like a shack, you know? It's a, it's a warehouse, it's a warehouse building. Portions of it is uh, air conditioned, and so we have two sales floors. There's one uh, that we have refrigerators and laundry, and then the other part of the store, we have like uh, kitchen stuff, you know, like the uh, stoves and dishwashers and wall ovens and stuff like that. But you know, it, you know, you're welcome to stop by. You know, uh, you know, it's be happy to show you around and spend some time, maybe grab some food. But thanks for saying that. I appreciate you. Thank you, Peter. I appreciate that, man.
Yeah, no, Jerry, that'd be cool, man. If you can stop by, man, that'd be awesome. We'll go eat some food. And you know, <laughs> the pandemic, right? We always forget about that. So I don't know. I don't know what the, what the future in store is, right? Dude, I'm not going to retire until my kids are out of college. And so one of them is 9 and the other one's 12. So we got to get them through school. We got to get the business, you know, surviving uh, to pay for, for school, college, and all that fun stuff. And as soon as they get done with that, it depends where we are, you know. Uh, if we're doing good, I'll probably keep it open. If we're struggling, uh, I'll probably do something else. I don't know. Definitely show you some washers. Hopefully this thing uh, will have a uh, little bit longer rinse cycle as well. So we'll see. I always thought the rinse cycle, the, the rinse portion of the cycle is kind of short. So hopefully we'll see a little bit longer. It does show um, six, 15 minutes left on the control panel. We'll see. Doctor asked if it was a warm water rinse. No, I'm doing a warm cold. Unfortunately, let me see if I can change it to warm warm. No, it won't let me change it. So I should have selected warm warm. So this washer, the TR7, can do a warm water rinse. It, the the, uh, the other TR series cannot, or the TC cannot do a warm water rinse. So I, I, if I would have selected warm water, it would have filled up a little bit faster, I'm sure. Thank you, Peter. So, Peter, are you saying that the uh, the the rinse is the same, right, compared to the other TR TR models? Question mark. Usually you would see warm water rinse on older machines that were high-end, 
so like some of the high-end uh, top load washers like a, you know the, the old school washers yeah, that was this uh, uh, the nicer ones would have warm water rinse and uh, as we start moving forward into um, you know trying to save energy um, they started removing warm water rinse because you know, court, you know, it's going to use a little bit more energy because it has to heat up the water, right? You, your hot water heater has to heat it up uh, to save energy. You do away with it, um, and there, are, you know, people say that you don't need it, but I mean, there's people that will tell you that they want it. So why not give it to them? Let the people decide, right, if they can use it or not. Okay, Peter. So whenever I'm trying to sell a TR series, um, the TR7 compared to the TR5, right? Um, so you can select heavy duty on the TR5. Now you have the option of hitting the uh, heavy soil button, right? So now you can use, like you can select heavy duty if you have a normal cycle. Uh, and if you have a real heavy duty cycle, then you can hit extra soil, yeah, or, or yeah, heavy soil. Because uh, the normal eco you want to get away from because it doesn't let you do a higher temperature wash and it does a spray rinse. So people were left, um, will say, they would tell me, so what do I do then if I have a normal cycle or a normal load? What do I select? I said, well, you can select permanent press or you can select heavy duty. Uh, so we have the TC5, when we select uh, permanent press most of the time. Uh, for my clothes, I just select heavy duty. But at least now on the TR series, if you have a normal load, just select heavy duty and don't hit the heavy soil. On, on the TR7, you have those options. So you can select heavy duty. You can select uh, light, medium, heavy, or max soil. So you have four selections for soil, which is awesome. Um, and then the next feature that the TR7 has that the TR5, TR3 doesn't have is the warm rinse. So if you want it, some customers will gravitate towards the word warm rinse. And you know, very few. I mean, there, there's it's, sometimes that that could be the deciding factor. Um, there, there it is. So we're done. So I wish it would rinse a little bit longer. Um, it's not going to hurt maybe to rinse another two or three more minutes. I thought that was kind of quick. So right now on the control panel it says 10 minutes left. Two minute rinse, yeah man. So Peter, I wish they would do at least a four to five minute rinse. You know, it, it, I think that, I don't know. I, I don't know, honestly. What's the point of like some machines will spin forever? I think I think you should let it you know rinse a little bit longer or agitate a little bit longer and rinse and then cut down on the spin time. Um, and also the not, another nice feature is the the warranty. You know, so you're going from a uh, the TR5 has a five-year warranty. The TR7 has a seven-year warranty, and also the control panel has a digital display to let you know how much time is remaining. So right now it says nine minutes. Uh, let's take a look at that real quick. Move this over here. So 
sorry, for the white screen. There's, uh, so it says nine, so we can do a countdown and see if it's accurate or not. Oh, the TR3, the TR5, right? It has, I think, a small or wait, medium, or I don't know. It has two water levels, and, and then it has autofill. This one will have small, medium, and large, and autofill. So it does. This one does give you a little bit more uh, options as far as water water level size, and then and then uh, the special cycles. Um, there's, I don't know, I think the older one had like seven special cycles. I'm not sure how many this one has. And, uh, uh what else? Uh, it just has just slightly more, um, features. But I think the big thing is the seven year warranty. So I think that's a good point, man. So I guess if we really wanted to rinse better, uh, what the Soto Texas is recommending is multiple rinses instead of a longer agitation and rinse, uh, which makes sense because you really want to get that dirty water out even more, and then uh, fill back up with fresh water, and then uh, pump that out again. So. I guess if I was really super concerned uh, with the rinsing, I would do two rinses, right? Thank you, for, thank you, DeSoto, Texas, for pointing that out. I think that clears it up in my head. Oh, Jerry, thank you, Jerry, for that. The uh, has small, large. So the the TR5 has a small, uh, load size, large, low size, and then autofill. So this one gives you the small, medium, and large on the TR7, plus autofill. My memory's shot. I can't remember those things. Peter, I'm not sure if I've tried that yet. It sounds interesting. Um, man, we do have some arrow keys, right? Um, huh. I'm going to try that here in a second. So as soon as we're done, uh, I'm, going, I'm going to suggest, I'm going, I'm going to do what the facility Texas is uh, suggesting. So he's saying that if we select a soil level and um, it's going to increase time, can you modify that time by, by selecting up or down on the control panel? Uh, we're going to find out, guys. So Jerry, uh, answer the question for Joseph um, 820, which is, which is good. I remember seeing a uh, the first time I saw the Maytag Neptune, the first iteration. Um, uh, they you know they brought the dealers in uh, to a hotel or some kind of convention place, like a small one. And they were just showing the, the the new Neptune wash machine, right? And the new Neptune, the, the first one would spin at 800 RPMs, and 
the, what they did is they demonstrated a bunch of wet towels. They soaked a bunch of wet towels in a big, huge container of water. And, uh, and they took the towels out and put it into the washer and spun it. And then the water that was uh, coming out of the washer was pumped back into the bucket. And it almost came up to the same water level. So it, it, uh, they said 800 RPMs is perfect. Anything higher than that will uh, start destroying fabric in your clothes. Now, that's probably them saying, you know, giving, them, giving us an excuse, you know, why they don't spin as fast, you know, or going, going above 800 is bad. But I, I don't buy that. I think if you can spin it a little bit harder, you're going to get a little bit more water out. I guess that would be a cool demonstration. You go to Walmart and buy a big container. We're down to two minutes right now. Down to one minute. Okay, we're done. So let's take a look at the control panel and do this little test that Peter suggested. So let's go here. All right, so I think we can see that. I can't really tell, I don't have my glasses on, but hopefully it's not too blurry. No break, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, hey guys, you got to make sure that that you're current on watching the video. If you're if you're something lags on your computer or something like that, you might be a couple minutes behind or a few seconds, and that happened to me one time. So I was watching it, I was behind everybody. Uh, so let's take a look at here. So we're gonna do heavy duty. Let, let's unplug it. There's still like 
you're still we still got power okay fine turn it off okay so plug it back in okay that's pretty neat uh, let's select um, record we're, we're not we're not gonna start another load I gotta get going I gotta go home but let's go to autofill soil level max and so right now we see 66 minutes on the machine and we have these little arrow keys right here to see if we can bring it down oh yeah there you go so you called it man was that Peter okay so you can't go above 66 right but you can go down okay so let's say um, we hit soil level there's 55 right for heavy you can go up and then once you hit okay do it this way so you got right now you're heavy and you have 60 minutes so you click it one more time 61 to jump to max okay so let's go down okay so if you keep on going down it starts changing here so you can go in between which is pretty nice so light is 35 and you can't go any lower than light than, than 35 so that's pretty cool uh, thanks for pointing that out man that's pretty neat I can set, uh, show that to customers uh, that you really can fine-tune it very very nice um, I think that's about it guys on this washer uh, I just want to pre appreciate you guys stopping by today uh, I'm not, I didn't record this video this time uh, I just live streamed it I, I left my SD cards at home Kind of glad because it does take a lot of processing to get that back up on those, the uh, the high definition version of it. It's really not high definition; it's 720, but it's 60 frames per second, which is really nice. Uh, but I don't, uh, I didn't bring it, so uh, this will be the only video of this washer. Oh, I'm losing. Uh, I'm behind again. So what I might do, guys, is uh, go ahead and turn this off. And I'll catch you next time.